Είναι μαζί μα ο Τέο Διαπραγματευτή τη τουρκο-κυπριακή πλευρά για το Κυπριακό Ζητήλ Ναμί. Μίστερ Ναμί, good afternoon. Hello. So, after the video scandal in the um, uh, Turkish Cypriot community, there are changes uh, in the political scene in the Turkish Cypriot community. The new leader of the UPP, uh, Faiz Sunjuoglu, who is called to form a so called government, seems to be more moderate. Uh, politician. How does that uh, affect uh, the Cyprus issue, if it does? I don't think it will change uh, at all the current official position of the Turkish side, uh, which, as you know, is a, uh, demanding a two-state uh, solution. Mm -hmm. uh, the only way to have some change is a, 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 a real change for a so-called government to be or a, for a new Turkish Cypriot leader? With different ideas. I think it's a bit more complicated than that. Um, I think um, the events in Turkey are now dominating uh, this uh, debate. Um, Turkey um, is now in the period of pre election. Mm -hmm. And uh, when it comes to Cyprus, as you can imagine, nationalistic feelings are quite strong. Um, Erdogan um, initially, uh, um, in 2003, 4, 5, he was strong enough um, to um, support another vision. Mm -hmm. But right now, um, um, the overwhelming um, sentiment in Turkey is uh, not uh, in favor of a federal solution in Cyprus. Therefore, without um, uh, a change in Turkey, I don't uh, think we should expect a big change in North Cyprus uh, way of thinking here, especially now that we have uh, Mr. Tatar as our president, who is against the federal solution. How dangerous do you think is the stagnation of the Cyprus problem for the for people of Cyprus, Greek Cypriots and Turkish Cypriots? Uh, Turkish Cypriots? Personally, I think uh, there is um, uh, a growing danger. Uh, um, we are not uh, living um, isolated from our region. Uh, there are many um, um, issues uh, which we have to face. Hydrocarbons issue is one uh, source of tension that is going to become uh, more and more important. Immigration is another um, huge problem that we have to um, coordinate our actions. So there are many issues which necessitate better relations uh, uh, between the two communities and uh, between um, um, Turkey and Greece in the region. Mm -hmm. And um, Cyprus' problem, as it is now, is um, not helping uh, this uh, cooperation, but it is working against mm -hmm. it. Um, so I would not feel very comfortable for, with the status quo at all. Mm -hmm. uh, you spoke about, you mentioned uh, natural gas, and uh, as we know, uh, ExxonMobil is uh, coming to Cyprus EZ for drilling. Do you think uh, that uh, will uh, uh, make uh, and, uh, the problem bigger between the relationships uh, of Turkey and US, uh, for example, because it's not the Republic of Cyprus as such, uh, issue, but it's uh, between uh, the uh, companies, ExxonMobil, uh, now. Um, my guess is um, Turkish side will not want to engage in such a, um, a problem with the United States directly or with these big um, oil companies, but um, they would not uh, hesitate to confront uh, the Greek Cypriot uh, initiatives. Mm -hmm. um, so, um, we have seen the uh, 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 similar examples of this in the past with the Italian, with the French. Mm -hmm. um, so something similar will definitely happen. Uh, and uh, uh, the Greek Cypriot administration won't be able to simply um, uh, escape the tension by saying that it is not me, I just granted the license, it is the American companies or the French or Italian companies. It will affect all of us. Mm -hmm. Um, and another question about the economy, Mr. Namim. Uh, what's going on with the rise of prices caused by the, uh, uh, by the fall of the Turkish lira uh, about the lifestyle of uh, Turkish Cypriots? Um, indeed, that's a huge problem. We are paying as Turkish Cypriots a huge inflation tax to Turkey, and uh, this is creating a huge budget deficit. Um, 
uh, for the government, which has not been has not been compensated by uh, Ankara until now. Um, and uh, uh, the, the, we have now have a new government, uh, which is supposedly going to be supported by Ankara. Hopefully, Ankara will recognize this huge tax that they are indirectly imposing on the Turkish Cypriot economy and will do something to compensate it. Otherwise, our economy uh, living standards will inevitably um, go down, I'm afraid. Mm -hmm. And last question, uh, Mr. Nami. Uh, I know we spoke about that uh, before, but is there any chance, any possibility uh, for a step back or from Turkey on the Cyprus problem with Erdogan uh, on the leader leadership of Turkey? As I said, um, um, we I have mean, to uh, see both for, sides with moving. A two with two state solution. I mean. Yes. Um, uh, um, it, all, it also depends on what uh, Mr. Anastasiadis will bring to the table. If he continues to act in the way that he, that he did in Kran Montana and uh, afterwards, Turkey will not move. Turkey just reacted to what Anastasiadis has done. Uh, Anastasiadis has done a huge damage to our efforts to um, solve the Cyprus problem. And this caused a huge reaction from uh, Turkey. Uh, they, they felt that uh, they were betrayed by Anastasiadis um, after opening their hand, even on uh, an issue like security and guarantees. So unless Anastasiadis puts on a very concrete plan, not only to start, but um, to finish the uh, uh, negotiations in a mutually agreed manner, a roadmap, so to speak, um, neither Turkey nor the Turkish Cypriot uh, president will change their current position. I have, uh, I had an interview with uh, Ioannis Kasulidis uh, a few days ago, and I asked him about that, about uh, Anastasiadis and the two-state uh, accusations. He said that uh, Turkey never accepted in Kramondana uh, anything about uh, the guarantees. Someone told to someone else that Turkey might be. Uh, the, so this is on table also, that Turkey uh, never actually made a step back from uh, guarantees. Um, let me clarify that. Um, first of all, I have to underline that. Um, Nothing is agreed until everything is agreed. So to say that Turkey did not agree to uh, a change in the guarantee system um, um, is a general statement because uh, we all um, gave um, tentative acceptances to many solutions. So we indicated what we can do if we have a package deal. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, more importantly, um, the Turkish side as well as the Greek side and uh, um, Greece and uh, everybody else attending the uh, conference, we accepted the Guterres outline. Mm -hmm. The Guterres outline said that um, the treaty of guarantee is not sustainable and a new system of guarantee that gives security to both sides must be created. Mm -hmm. And we, both Turkey and Turkish Cypriots, accepted this. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, we would not be able to make um, uh, to go to the final dinner. Uh, what happened in the final dinner was um, uh, Secretary General put on the table a package deal. Security was one of the issues and asked the sides to say their final word on all the issues. Mm -hmm. Turkey's side said we are ready to do it, but Anastasiadis said no. Um, I want to hear the final word of Turkey's side on guarantees and then I will think about the rest. Mm -hmm. Okay. This approach took the issue out of the package mm -hmm. uh, uh, deal approach and uh, uh, broke everything down. The whole, the whole thing collapsed at that moment. Anyway, the, the, the thing is, what happened, happened. Mm -hmm. And if Anastasiadis today says, I am uh, ready to resume negotiations from where we left off, but not only to resume, but I have a plan on how to finish it mm -hmm. within a time, in a result or oriented manner, mm -hmm. if he puts such a concrete process on the table, then he can expect a change in Turkish policy. If mm -hmm. he simply says, I just want to resume from where we left off, Turkish side will not change their policy. This I can, uh, I can see clearly. Mm -hmm. Mr. Nami, thank you very much uh, for that interview. Good night. Of course, thank you. Good, good night.